Hi everyone! So I decided to make this video because I know that there are plenty of people who have not been to the dentist for a very very long time. Well, I was one of them. <laughs> because I always thought, oh yeah, my, my at least my upper teeth, they look good. I don't have any problems or anything like that. But recently, my gums have started receding. So... I decided I need to check them because I get this sensitivity pain whenever I brush them or I um, eat something or drink something. That means this is a big sign. I mean, I have a gap here. I have always had this gap anyway. Um, but the problem here was that I had to see the dentist because my gums in the past one week have been so swollen for whatever reason. I, I believe it's because of these sour sweets I ate last week. I don't eat sweets usually, but because I don't know if you've seen my previous video and I explained the story how there was a promoter on the street um, in front of the sweets shop and he kind of tricked me <laughs> to buy sweets and I was like, fine, if there is a promotion, I will buy sweets fine so this video is for all the people who are very scared to go to sorry for shaking the camera it's just that i'm holding it with my i'm holding the phone i'm recording on my phone and i'm holding it uh, with my hand i should see where is the stabilizer but i don't know where it is i have to i have to clean my room it's my day off i have to do so many things here but let's stay on topic the topic is the the dentist <laughs> So I decided I need to check up what's going on with my teeth. This is eight years I haven't been to the dentist. Even though that I floss, I brush, I, I use mouthwash, there are specific, um, there, there are specific things that only a dentist can do. For example, cleaning the teeth, the teeth with special um, tools. Uh, special dental tools that only they use so this is very beneficial for your teeth oh i'm just admiring my hair finally my hair is getting better honestly finally this is by the way this is from from philip kinsley hair care products i see it gives it gives volume and density to my to the small amount of hair i have <laughs> but yes, yeah, so if you haven't been to the dentist for years, don't you worry. Um, I would advise to just go for it. And I was afraid to go to the dentist. But I'm going to tell you why I was afraid. I wasn't afraid because of the um, tools or the instruments or any procedures. I was afraid. How much is this going to cost me? Because I live in the UK. <laughs> and I know for certain that living in the UK and going to the dentist, this is very, very costly. Very, very costly. Hence why the majority of the people, I apologize, but so many people that I see that live in the UK have really bad teeth. Have really bad teeth. And I understand because it's so expensive. It is so expensive. Just for a checkup in the private clinic I went to, I went to a private clinic. I didn't want to go to NHS clinic because a friend of mine has been to an NHS clinic and she did not have a good experience there. Instead of them fixing whatever the problem was for her teeth, they created more problems. They, they chipped one of her teeth um, and basically they created more problems. So I'm like, uh-uh, I'm not going there. I don't care if I will pay more. Uh, thank God that my finances have increased in the past one year, which I'm so grateful for. So I could, I could at least afford this. I could at least afford to fix my receding gum. Sorry that I'm <laughs> showing you my private jaw but yeah basically i have receding gums here i have six receding gums which means six tooth six teeth pardon me plural 
six teeth need to be done so there will be uh i don't know exactly what the procedure is called but it's something regarding repos i don't know they send me they send me the um, the receipt and it says the treatment on there but for a private checkup just to analyze your um your teeth and your basically oral health for the private clinic i went to it cost 65 pounds just for for the dentist to check up on you to check up on your on your dental health however i booked an emergency appointment and this emergency appointment cost 45 pounds because emergency appointment costs 20 pounds less because my my gums were really slow uh, swollen and um I experienced sensitivity, a lot of sensitivity and kind of a pain in the past one week. I believe now it's gone. However, when I uh, when I floss, I have a lot of sensitivity. So, yes. So, I booked this emergency appointment, 45 uh, pounds, paid for it, paid the deposit of 45 pounds, which was for the appointment. So how did the appointment go? I went there, the clinic was absolutely beautiful. Let's start from there. It was just so aesthetically nice and um, the staff was very polite. They were all professionals from the receptionist. They were all welcoming and polite. It was like I was entering a five-star hotel. It was really, really nice there. And the decorations, it was so cozy and beautiful and nice um but yes so i went there right on time 12 o'clock today and um i didn't i waited only just a minute a minute or so and they they already take took me in for for the examination uh they greeted us uh, they allowed my friend to stay with me i told my friend nicole please would you come to would you come with me to the dentist because i'm freaked out i haven't been to the dentist for eight years the last time i went to the dentist was 2016 oh my god it's i know it sounds awful honestly but uh that's why i'm make that's that's why i'm making this video because i know how many other people <laughs> are probably in the same situation and they're freaking out so my advice would be just ask someone to to join you for the appointment that's how you will have an emotional support next to you so you would not feel un uncomfortable or judged but the dentist or his assistant they were very welcoming and understanding and i said i haven't been to the dentist for eight years i haven't been to the dentist since 2016 they were not judgy at all they were like perhaps they have other patients like that it's just that when we haven't been to the dentist and we would think in our minds wow wow i haven't been to the dentist for such a long time i'm neglecting my dental health which is true we are neglecting our dental health because if had i caught this early perhaps i would not have i would not have been doing this right now but anyway so yes they allowed my friend to stay um the examination was exactly 30 minutes um so first i went on to the chair um for my examination and when when i laid down when i laid back um i saw that there was a tv on the top <laughs> there was a tv above my head and i could watch the tv <laughs> while the dentist was examining every single thing in my mouth uh, he was checking carefully my tissues he was explaining actually to me what he was doing. He said, I'm checking your tissues now, then I'm checking your teeth. Um, and apparently for each tooth, there is um, a number in in the dental practices uh, because he was, whenever he was um, speaking to his assistant, whose assistant was at the computer, she was preparing probably the file for my for my my file for my problem on the system so he was he was calling out each to he was 
he was calling out to her for each of my teeth and he was like number nine has this and that number three has this and i'm like whoa, whoa. i was thinking wow what all of my teeth are bad what is going on <laughs> like he but perhaps this was just to examine each each tooth <laughs> and my friend was like my friend nicole she has a phobia of dentists she is so scared of the treatments of the tools of the machines i'm not i'm not scared of, of the tools or or the um, i'm not scared of the tools or of the um, whatever they will be doing to me i am scared of what cost would they say to me at the end what's the cost of that i'm scared more for my money <laughs> Yes, I'm scared for my money. This was my only fear, money. Because right now I'm financing a house renovation in Bulgaria and basically I'm f by financing it, I am sending all the money to my parents so we can renovate the second floor of our house. And this cost money. A house renovation cost money. And hence why I was so concerned. So basically uh, the dentist at the end um he was he told me the price at the end and he told me the best solutions the best uh, things to do um but first before that when i was laying down on the um, on the chair on the patient's chair um uh, he was taking pictures of my teeth with a special camera a dental camera a very small dental camera and then um, from these pictures and from the x-ray, um, from the x-ray um, pictures, <laughs> he was talking me through everything on my teeth on the screen of the computer at the end. So he explained to me that I have been losing bone. Um, he said this could be because I have been brushing way too hard. And he asked me if I'm using electrical toothbrush. I said, no, I'm using a manual toothbrush. He said it's better to buy an electrical toothbrush um, because some of them have sensors. And, and um, he said, uh, try to not brush too hard because this could be because um, first, perhaps your diet contains a lot of acid foods like oranges, like uh, lemon. I like lemon. He said, be cautious of any fizzy drinks. I told him that I drink a lot of chilled coffees. He said, this contains a lot of sugars. I, I know about that. I try not to, to drink too much things with sugars, but sometimes I like that. <laughs> now I have to change my whole diet. Not whole diet, because I don't eat so much things with sugar. But yeah, I have to make changes for the sake of my teeth health my oral health oh i love my hair sorry guys i just I, I enjoy how my hair is from these philip kinsley products it's nice it's nice so another thing um another thing the dentist told me mm, he said that um it's recommended to go to the dentist twice per year for um, a hygiene of cl a cleaning, hygiene cleaning, where they clean your teeth in a very special way with a very special. This is basic things, but because I haven't been to the dentist for eight years, I I was aware of these basic things, but part of my brain was forgetting about these things. Okay, <laughs> that's eight years. And he said, uh, Alexandra, despite the fact that you have you have been brushing your teeth and you have taken care of your teeth um, with a dental floss um, and a mouthwash, um, it is recommended to go twice a year to to do um, a dental hygiene cleaning with uh, they have special tools that they do this with. And then um, he said that six of my gums have been receding, which means I have um, I need six teeth done. 
and it's 180 per tooth so do the math do the math so i said i am not able to afford to pay to pay for all of it in one go and i asked can i do them at least perhaps one or two per month so i can spread the cost so this month we are doing two two of the two of the teeth and then the next month then the other two he said yeah that's absolutely fine so today i paid 360 pounds for my next appointment because this appointment was just a checkup just to analyze everything and then the second appointment is where works will work will start so the second appointment i have this thursday at 8 30 in the morning and i have paid the full amount of money for two of my teeth to be done I mean the receipt uh, where is the receding where the gum is receding it's pulling away from the bone which means it's exposing the softer part of the tooth and hence why it's more softer it's very close to the to the nerve of the tooth and it's very it becomes more sensitive so this needs to be covered and the dentist will cover it this thursday for two of my teeth so I'm very, <laughs> I'm very happy. They asked me uh, in order for me to secure an appointment, I will have to uh, pay at least half of the money as a deposit to secure this appointment. Or if I prefer, I can pay the whole amount. I said, do you know what? Let's get it over with. Let's pay the whole 360 for both of these teeth so i know that it's it's over with so this is how it has been um they were very professional in this clinic in less term that i went to in a private clinic they were really really professional and um yes everything for now is the first experience everything was really good and i hope this video helps you to to kind of motivate you and to to get you to check up on your teeth I'm so sorry that if you're living in the UK and the cost is so high, but somehow we have to find a solution to take care of our health because then these little problems, they will combine into bigger problems in the future and this will cost us even more. So it's better to, to find the problem at the beginning of, I mean, it's better to find, it's better to check up on, on the health of our of our oral health on time so we avoid even bigger costs because this if i left it longer this could be this could be going more and more and yeah it would cause even bigger issues which would cost more money which is not good for me <laughs> so my whole treatment including 90 pounds for a hygiene cleaning will cost 1250 pounds so this is for excluding the 45 pounds which is which i already paid for the checkup the six teeth and the oral hygiene treatment that would cost 1250 pounds which 360 of those i already paid and yes so please check up on your dental health and let's catch the problems whenever we can so we don't regret losing teeth in the future <laughs> yes because let's let's take care of the health of our teeth and then we can do the cosmetic procedures we will get rich you know what we will get rich right guys because why like we need the money money will open doors and money will fix problems <laughs> i'm a very big motivator but yes if you're scared to go to the dentist after so many years my best advice is to speak to a close friend of yours to accompany you there just for emotional support the dentist will not judge you don't worry 
they they are very professional private healthcare private healthcare they are much more professional than the nhs well yeah i hope that video helps you and i will see you soon on the next video bye have a great day